Hello, good morning. It's Awanza back. This is a daily devotional, a Rima word written by our highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess BB Angel. There they are. Amazing. I'm so excited. And the song that you hear in the background is is track one. It's called Yaya. And it's from um, Prophet Uber the Angel's CD called Songs of the Spirit. So, I'm really sitting here enjoying it. And then 9 o'clock came. <laughs> so, let us see here. Uh, like I said, my name is Alwanza, and I'm coming to you live from the DMV, which is Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Today is Thursday February 27th and it the word is come is the title of our lesson today is power of the Holy Ghost oh my goodness this is so amazing power of the Holy Ghost I'm excited to see what the prophets have in store for us today yesterday was a day of humility do you remember that one yesterday so that was a good day so let's see how today the power of the Holy Ghost see how he's going to manifest himself today our text is taken from Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the Lord of hosts not by might nor by power. Okay. So it seems like nothing that I can do. Like my might is my strength and my my power, which is, I ain't that strong. I'm in gym clothes today. <laughs> like I work out, but no. <laughs> but it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Let's dive in and see what the prophets have for us. They say, as much as we can try to do mighty exploits through our own human efforts, we always struggle. This was never the plan of God. He has given us his spirit, who is the most powerful being in the universe. Wow. He has given us his spirit, which is the most powerful being. He's a being because he's in me. I'm a human being in his spirit. He dwells on the inside of me. So he is the most powerful being in the universe. Not the world, the universe. We can do mighty exploits when we tap into the power on the inside of us. This tells us that if the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Now, I know I just said that he lives on the inside of me, but it's the same spirit that raised up Christ. Christ died. He was dead for three. On the third day, he rose again. So the spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ, those same abilities, that same spirit is in me, the same ability, same capability. So I can't have anything dead in me. Nothing is dead in me. Dead, dead strength, dead skin, dead hair. I don't know. Like, not, oh, sickness, sickness. There can not be a sickness in me. Because sickness is like death. So if it's death or something is dying or something isn't working right, it's the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. That is, that is making me so excited because raised Christ from the dead, he dwells in me. Then anything that is dead in me, his job is to raise it, like give it life, revitalize it. It has to come alive. It has to work. That's his job. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That's amazing. Um, they, they continue to tell us, he is the author of all that is good in your life and he never holds anything back from you. His desire is for you to yield and achieve to greatest potential. So his desire is that we yield and achieve. Wow. He is the author of all that is good in my life and holds nothing back. 
acknowledge him they tell us acknowledge him in all our ways let him be the one who leads leads you in everything you do today okay <laughs> acknowledge him oh my goodness acknowledge him acknowledge him so i'm about to leave so i'm acknowledge him as i'm driving every green light i get i'm like thank you holy ghost <laughs> when i go get my coffee this morning i'll be like thank you holy ghost oh it's gonna be nice and hot oh my gosh oh my goodness acknowledge him in everything i do i do so I looked for him yesterday, and but today it's everything that I do. So everything that I go about doing, it says, allow him to lead me in everything I do today. He's going to pick out what flavor coffee I'm going to have and where I'm going today. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So the prophetic declaration is, I'm going to read it and you repeat after me. I am a child of God full of the Holy Ghost and power. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> who strengthens me. I'm wearing workout clothes. I don't work out. So I know he is going to strengthen me today to continue moving forward. Wow. To continue moving forward. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about today. Further study comes from Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Now that is the second time we've read that, right? First in the text and now in the scripture. So Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, the same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ dwells on the inside of me. I'm unstoppable. Everything that I do today, I'm going to acknowledge him. He is going to lead me through everything. I am going to, it's going to be so straight today and so smooth today. It's going to be an exciting day. All because I am yielding to allow the Holy Ghost to lead and guide me throughout my day today. And I thank God. Oh, I thank God for this day. I thank God for this word. I thank the prophets for this word. And I thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And until next time, remember, never, never out of word. The word is exhaustive, like can't run out of it. But I am out of time for today. So until tomorrow, bye.